Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to replace the engine harness on a DD15 engine. The first step is to remove the bumper. With the bumper out of the way, I'm going to remove the dipstick by removing these 10mm bolts. There is two of them here and there is another bolt right there and I'm going to remove this bracket. This bracket and holds the uh, Dixie on place. There is two bolts in there, 13 millimeters. It's very hard to see them. There is one over there and the other one is in the bottom right there. With the Dixie pie uh, removed and the bracket, I am going to remove this area. This is a uh, like a knot that goes over here, then connects the Dixie pie to the oil pan. I'm going to remove from here to remove the district pie completely okay the district pie is out of the way completely removed from the oil pan now I'm going to drain the fuel and I'm going to remove all these fuel lines with the fuel lines completely removed remove these uh, transmission cooling lines brackets there is three brackets now I'm going to remove these 13 millimeter bolts are right here there is one here and one on the other side i'm going to remove this other 13 millimeter bolt and this other 13 millimeter bolt that is on the other side of the engine and i'm going to remove that too that is is at the 13 millimeter you see that and next to the water pump here is this bracket i'm going to remove these 13 millimeter bolts so there is two of them to remove this uh bracket but first I'm going to release this uh, this plug by turning it to the left. In this specific truck, this is a 2010 Freelander Cascadia. Um, it has this plug over here. But for 2011 and up, this plug is completely gone. It's a square plug, the one you want to disconnect. The square, the square plug goes in here, inside there. After removing all the bolts from the harness, I am going to start by disconnecting all the plugs, starting by the injector plugs, uh, EGR, uh, Delta Pressure Sensor, Fuel Pressure Rail, Dozer Block Plug, Cam Position Sensor, Water in Fuel Sensor, Oil Pressure, Oil Temperature, and Coolant Temperature Sensor, Crunch Half Position Sensor, which is the one over there and the EGR player. Okay, I already disconnect all the plugs, all the engine harness plugs. I forgot to mention to disconnect the throttle valve and some other plugs. Now, the next step is to remove all these. You see these little clips over here? Need to remove all these clips right here to release the engine harness from the engine. The engine harness is completely disconnected from the engine block and engine components. Now I wanna start pulling the cable like this to remove it completely. I'm going to start by the top. I'm going to remove this. I'm gonna pull it from here. I'm gonna pull all these cables. So this end of the harness is out. I'm going to do the same with this end. I'm gonna pull it from here and I completely remove it like this trying to bring it out and once it is out I'm going to drop it all the way to the bottom because I'm going to remove the harness from the bottom okay the engine harness end is out now I'm going to get this other end out from this side because it goes all the way to here so I'm gonna start pulling it like this trying to get it out okay this other end of the harness is out ready to be removed now I'm going to remove this other end the bottom end of the harness by pulling this bridge down like this you have to pull it down like this until it gets out from both sides. Once this bridge is down, I'm going to make its way out of here because over here is a very limited space to remove it. But before doing that, 
I'm going to remove this clip by pressing it to the back like this all the way to the bottom and then I'm gonna pull the harness like this I'm going to remove the complete harness from here so I'm going to remove the last end of the harness the one that goes all the way to the crankshaft position sensor okay, I already removed the end and goes to the crankshaft position sensor now I'm going to pull the whole end to the other side like this other side of the transmission lines the next step to do is to pull the transmission lines to the back like this and with the other hand try to remove the harness plug from uh, trying to remove it from behind of the transmission lines like this try to make its way out like this you can see okay so the hardest plug is outside behind the uh, transmission lines now I'm going to pull this end is all this cable of the hard here I want to pull them down by making the, their way out of here the engine harness is out all the cables are out there is no more cables in the engine the only one left is this bridge so now it's very easy to remove it like this and it's out as you can see so I have the new engine harness this is the part number but remember this engine harness is for a 2000 10 DD15 engine. This engine harness will be good for DD15 engines, I guess, from 2008 to 2011. From 2011 and up, the DD15 engine with DEF, the engine harness will be different, so you will need a different part number. But just to be sure, when you open the engine harness, make sure that the clock are the same. In this case, I know is the engine harness thing I need because it has the same RAM plug this plug then I have right here you see for newer DD15 engines it's a square plug over here and it doesn't have this bracket one last thing I'm going to mention about this harness because this is a 2010 engine harness the EGR delta pressure sensor plug is different as you can see it is white and this one is a black one the old one over here is a black plug so this plug doesn't go in the EGR data pressure sensor so I had to remove this plastic uh, cover I had to replace it with the old one to replace this plug first I had to remove this plastic cover right here this is a clip then I have to pull there is one right here and another one right here with a small screwdriver now I'm going to remove this other clip right here with a small screwdriver by pressing it out like this once this thing is out of the way I'm going to use the same screwdriver to remove this blue part over here you see I'm gonna pull it out once it is out, as you can see, it is completely out. Um, I'm going to push that blue part. You see that blue part over here? I want to push it out. Once the blue part is out, I can push those little black white clips you see over there up to remove the cables completely from the plug. You have to do one by one at the same time replacing it from the other plug then I already removed so you don't miss the position of the cables okay so the plug is replaced make sure to install all the components you remove from the other plug but remember this uh, EGR delta pressure sensor plug replacement is just for DD15 engines uh, from 2008 to 2011 
So now the engine harness is ready for installation. To install the new engine harness, I'm going to place it underneath the truck. And free is I'm going to insert this end of the harness here in between the frame and the oil pan. With this end of the harness insert in between the frame and the oil pan, I'm going to take the other end. This end right here, this is the one that goes to the injectors and the other sensor on top of the engine. I'm gonna grab up. Okay, this end of the harness is up. The one that goes to the injector and the temperature sensor. So now I'm going to take this uh, ECM plug up. I'm going to pull the transmission lines to get it up all the way to the ECM right here. Okay, the ECM harness plug is on place. Now I'm going to get this other end of the cables all the way up. They go on this side, all the way up on this area. And they come out from here. I'm going to pull it all the way up and make its way all the way to the adoser and the other components. Okay, this end of the harness is all the way to the adoser and the other components. Now I'm going to get this uh, injector end and the other sensor all the way through here to the top. Okay, the end then goes to the injectors and the other sensors over here is all the way up, you can see. Now the last thing to do is to get this end all the way to here. It comes all the way from here. I'm gonna get it all the way down of the uh, oil filter housing. Okay, now with all the plugs on place, I'm going to start by connecting the ECM plug right there. That's the freeze plug I'm going to start connecting and then after that I'm going to connect all the plugs all the plugs that go around the engine including the EGR actuator on the other side okay, with all the harness plug connected the next step is to hook these uh, clips these clips on these orifices right here to secure the engine harness I'm gonna do to all of them around the harness the harness is in the right place as you can see all the clips are on place now the next step is to place all these bolts the ECM bolts to the harness over here there is two bolts remember to install them and I'm going to get the harness bridge over here and once it is on top of here I'm going to place the bolt and hold it in place Okay, the harness bolts, the plug bolts are in place, and the bridge too, the bridge bolt. And you can see over there, there is the bolt. It's totally secure now. Now the next step is to place all the transmission brackets, transmission uh, cooling line brackets, all of them, all the ones I remove to remove the um, engine harness. The transmission bracket is on place. All the components of the engine harness are in place. Now I'm going to install the bracket that holds the dipstick and the dipstick pipe. And I'm going to install all the fuel lines too. Okay, the dipstick and the fuel lines are in place. So now I'm going to bleed the fuel system and I'm going to install the bumper. Okay, the fuel system is filled with fuel. Um, I'm going to double check if there is no fuel leaks around the fuel filters and the bumper is in place. So now the next thing to do is to start the engine. So as you can see there is no warning light on. That means that the engine harness replacement was successfully done with no problems. So pretty much this is all I'm going to show you about the engine harness replacement on a DB15 engine. If you have any questions about this video just comment below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Please like the video, share, subscribe and thank you for watching.